What's up everyone, my pack is available right now on my store as well as my Lightroom and the PSD from this video is also on my store because I make no money off of YouTube, but um, yeah, the PSD is paid, but if you want to figure out how I did it, just uh, keep on watching. Here is what we made in the video right here. This is our finished project after all the color correction, everything done. So of course, this is on my store page and um, the pack I used is my pack, the everything pack. If you want to figure out, you could just grab the pack and follow along. It's super easy. I just use some of the assets and uh, yeah it's easy this is how I did it right here I just filtered the render we have right here the render will be in my pack and then I added some nice little glow to the eyes and then added a field blur where I made every single point a different type of blur and uh, I made most of it clear but some blur by the lower part of the character and yeah that's how I do that and then after that part here's my doing it my brushes right here and then I just <laughs> I just put them around the different parts of the character uh, with different blending modes uh, some soft light some overlay whatever really works best for you and there's no right way to do this there's no wrong way to do this this is just how I do it and then after that I do add a nice little white outline above all the red but yeah that's how I did that real quick Alright, and then right here, as you can see, I have a small white brush, and I'm just adding a nice little white outline to everything. Uh, the blending mode can be whatever for this, but when it's so small, you don't even have to change the blending mode. So just if you have a really nice little small brush, you could just like pop in some nice little highlights here, and hopefully it'll look pretty good. But then also after that, what I did was I just got a big red brush, I painted over the entire character here, and then I made the blending mode color and turned the opacity down quite a bit. And for a lot of these, except for the white, highlight the opacity will be down a lot. All right, and then we're in here in my pack, the everything pack. Again, this is on my store if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, it would be great if you picked it up, but if not, that's okay. But um, yeah, so pretty much right here, I'm just adding a nice little cloud, a nice high-res cloud for my pack. I'm just popping it in, and then I'm painting it black, or red, not black. <laughs> I'm painting it red, and then after that, I'm putting some fire in front, some fire in the back. It's super easy. The fire is also an asset for my pack, but I'll show you how I do that in just a second.
All right, and then once you decide which one you do, which of course for me will be this one right here, it's just a nice little fire that I'm using, and you'll see me decide on it. And pretty much all I'm doing for this fire that I'm taking in is I'm just getting a hue and saturation clipping mask, and I'm popping it in, and I'm just making sure it's nice and red with some nice tints of orange, because I will have some orange, because um, if it's all red, um, I just thought it looked better with orange. So you can see I'll pop it in right here. It already looks okay, but once we add the color correction and then put it behind behind the character and in front of it, then it'll all like come together and it'll look a lot better. Alright, and then now I'm just getting a nice red-ish, orange-ish brush, and then I'm just painting over everything, adding more sort of random glow, I don't want to say it's random, sort of on the outside of the text, or the character, and then just make sure everything looks normal and not like super bright and overwhelming, um, some linear dodge can do okay, uh, some soft light would be good, just make sure you're doing it in just sort of a nice little precise and not crazy and overwhelming way but yeah as you can see right now the character it doesn't really match so much so that's why i'm just painting in a lot of this red just so everything's nice and color corrected and everything matches much better Alright, and then time for the text. It's super easy. Um, any typeface will do, or any font, uh, however you want to say it. But right here, this is just a piece I made. Um, it is a speed artist on YouTube if you want to watch this, but yeah. It's a little thing I made. Any sort of old image will just go on top of the text. Make sure it's a clipping mask by hitting right clip, clipping mask, and it's above the text. And then just make sure everything's color corrected. So right here, as you can see right here, I'm just adding a nice little gradient over it, or a color overlay, or I can just make a nice layer right here like I'm doing, and then I'm just going to paint over it with a nice red, set the blending mode to color, or soft light, or whatever works for you, make sure it's a nice soft brush, and yeah, just make sure everything's painted, and then after that, I'll show you how to do some more stuff.
All right, and then right here, what I did was pretty much around the text. I just made it a little darker around the edges, the four corners mostly. Then after that, I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna duplicate all this, convert it to a smart object, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another field blur, like I did with the character beforehand. If you wanna know how I also made the little icon to the right, the gun on the right. Uh, or the left of the thing. It's pretty simple. It's just low opacity set to hard light Then I just erased a bunch of it. It's not super challenging, but that's not necessary All right here field blur of course the corners are going to be a bit more blurry Then after that we're pretty much done and you can add a camera raw filter and yeah, I'll show you the final product Alright, so here's our final product again. I hope you guys like it. Um, I did add a little bit of chromatic aberration or offset at the end. Uh, that's not necessary. If you want to learn how to do that, just go to my last video and I'll show you how to do it. Um, it's pretty simple and yeah. Pretty much all you really have to do is just like use some nice assets, color correct them, make sure everything's nice and blended, and that's about it. See you guys later. Good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you're from, and yeah, bye.